I'm speechless. I'm I'm absolutely speechless. <laughs> I had truly forgotten that Star Wars was owned by Disney and that Marvel was owned by Disney. I I, I forgot. I, I I can't believe I totally forgot about it. And that previous Star Wars titles were created by Marvel. And I had no intention of reading them at all. Five volumes in an omnibus version, and they all seemed uninteresting and boring as hell to me. I just, I, I, just, I still can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were expecting it. I did not expect it. That, that Star Wars would go back to Marvel Comics. And I, I just I just couldn't believe it. I just can't believe it. And just throwing Dark Horse aside. Basically, I just found out about this news this afternoon. I, I still can't believe it. I still can't freaking believe it. I'm totally speechless. And I've just been looking at different pages. Let me just show you guys the articles that I've been looking at. But this is a better one. Right here. Yes, there you go, Marvel. There you go. You got Star Wars back. Lucasfilm and Marvel join forces to publish Star Wars comics. And this is going to end the relationship with Dark Horse and Star Wars. And Marvel's going to take back the reins. Now, Dark Horse has done a fantastic job with Star Wars. A fantastic job with Star Wars, resurrecting Star Wars to become a great big entity and having great comics at that. Marvel has not, has not done that yet. And we will see how Marvel does in the future. But for now, we don't know yet. And we need to see more titles that they're going to release. Are they going to keep the same titles that Dark Horse has that are still going on? Are they going to cut those entirely and put some other titles, some other titles related to the films? Are they going to do that? So that's my, I, I have no idea. I think they're going to cut the all that stuff out. They're going to take some stuff, but they're going to com completely destroy everything else. And I honestly think this is not good news to Star Wars. I don't think it's good at all. Dark Horse has made a killing out of Star Wars. And made titles for Star Wars for 23 years. 23 years. The first title they made was Dark Empire, as you can see. From 1991. And is going to stop at 2014 with the Star Wars and other series like Legacy Volume 2 or whatever. And Star Wars. So I really like the Star Wars series. But uh, I've absolutely loved most of these titles. Not all, but I love most of them. And Dark Horse has done a fantastic job at that. And to cut Dark Horse out like that is just not right. It just doesn't seem right to me at the fact that Disney just did this and they want to have Marvel resurrected or something. I don't know. They want Marvel to do this stuff again. And I just want to thank Dark Horse for everything they've done. They've created massive, great titles. And as you can see, this is Dark Empire number one. This is their first Dark Horse title. And this is just a thank you message to all the fans and what what the news about it is. And let me just read it to you guys. All things come to pass, so too do all licensed deals. I am sad to report that Disney, the new owner of Lucasfilm, has notified us here at Dark Horse of their intention to move the Star Wars pu publishing license to another of their recent acquisitions, Marvel Comics, beginning in 2015. This will end a partnership that has lasted more than two decades. For those who are new to the industry, Dark Horse revolutionized the treatment of comics based on films. After a history of movie properties being properly handled with little regard for execution and continuity. Dark Horse took a new approach, carefully choosing licenses and approaching them with excitement and creative energy. Our goal was to create sequels and prequels to the films we loved. Paying careful attention to quality and detail, 
essentially treating those films as though they were our own. Star Wars has been the crown jewel of this approach. We began chase chasing the title as far back as 1989, and with the launch of Tom Veidt and Cam, Cam, Cam Kennedy's Dark Empire, a new era in comics was born. I'm not ashamed to admit that we were Star Wars geeks and we have been determined to spare neither effort nor expense in the pursuit of excellence. It is ironic that this announcement comes at a time when Dark Horse is experiencing its most successful year ever. For obvious reasons, we have prepared for this eventuality by finding new and exciting projects to place on our schedule for 2015 and beyond. Will they take the place of Star Wars? That's a tall order, but we will do our best to make it happen. In the meantime, 2014 may be our last year at the helm of the Star Wars comics franchise, but we plan to make it a memorable one. We know the fans of the franchise will expect no less. The Force is with us still, Mike Richardson. Dark Horse doesn't like it. Just, they don't like it. But they have to move on, too, and to replace Star Wars is just a huge thing. Is a huge task, but hey, let me. There's one interesting message. After a history of movie property, movie properties being poorly handled with little regard for execution and continuity. <coughs> episodes one, two, and three. I, I'm pretty sure that's what they imply. <laughs> but um, they've they've done a fantastic job. I mean, expanding upon the experience of Star Wars immensely. We knew something like this would come. I, I I just couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. And, uh, man, I just hope the best for Dark Horse. They've given us great other titles like Conan and, uh, you know, R.I.P.D. and other great titles. They, they ex enhanced the Star Wars experience immensely. And I know I'm repeating stuff over and over again, but I just wanted to mention that. Now, also, I wanted to mention one other thing, that Randy Stradley, who is the um, editor for uh, Dark Horse Comics, for uh, Star Wars Comics, he wrote, I will write Star Wars no more forever. So, he was a giant supporter of Star Wars, and he just, it just didn't, see, as you can see, he just, it didn't seem right to him that Star Wars is now going to Marvel. And he just didn't like it. And I don't like it either. I don't know how they're going to do. I have no idea what they're going to do. They could be even greater than Dark Horse. But that's a tall task at that. That's a tall task at that. I honestly think this is very depressing news. It is not good news in my opinion. Others have differed on other forums. Most uh, Star Wars Expanded Universe people have hated it. Like myself. I, and I don't know. We will see how... Marvel handle Star Wars. I can also see um, you guys in Dark Horse uh, creating something great for 2014 and dedicating something to the Star Wars community and Star Wars fam out there. And I can really see that at the end of 2014. I, I think it'll be awesome. And uh, I know I understand Dark Horse is collecting all their omnibus books right before the end of this year, and rightfully so. I mean. Uh, Dark Times Omnibus Volume 2, um, and that's actually going to contain the end of Dark Times. So I was generally surprised at what they contained. It contains, I believe, Volumes 3 to 7, or Volumes 4 to 7, and Volume 7 is actually going to be the last paperback. And I was generally surprised by it, but I understand why the news is like that too, because Volume 7 comes out April and the omnibus comes out a month after they had to push this thing out and uh, finish this omnibus system for dark times so volume 7 is going to be is is looking like it's the last of the dark time series and that's it so it's a shame that dark times ended like that I just want to wish dark horse the best of luck you guys are awesome you gave us great titles great titles just best of luck the best of luck to dark horse you guys are awesome okay you've created a whole new star wars we never expected in comic book form
And I just, I just want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I still do plan on doing my reviews with Star Wars uh, omnibus titles. Still plan on doing those. And still plan on doing other reviews as well. I'm not going to just quit on Star Wars entirely. I'm the, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm not, I'm not going to quit it. And I just I wanted to discuss this news with you guys. I'll get you guys' thoughts on what you think about this news. Do you think it's good or bad or you're not you're really unsure or you're excited about this opportunity with uh, a Marvel with Star Wars then Dark Horse? Um, please give me your comments below and please like and uh, subscribe to my channel Django Fett.